you can tell an awful lot about a person by what they decide to carry on their person. And so in the spirit of sharing, here is my current 2019 EDC. Fossil Hybrid Smartwatch. I bought this watch in late 2017 as a sort of celebration for getting my new job. It's not particularly expensive, especially given watches can get very expensive, but it's solid and really dependable. I kind of wanted a smartwatch, but I didn't like most of the options out there. I really like how timepieces look. I enjoy the analog hands and the movement and the digital watches just really didn't do it for me. The Fossil Hybrid watch gives me the smart features I want, like step counting and editable buttons and sometimes notifications, without a stupidly terrible battery life or a big dumb screen full of graphics for me to stare at instead of my phone. It's a watch. I have a few watches. This is probably the most featured and expensive of them, but there are others that I enjoy wearing, but they don't really do as much. So this tends to be the workhorse and gets the most use day to day. Bifold Wallet. I bought this simple folding wallet a couple of years ago now to try out the billfold or dual fold idea. I really don't carry an awful lot of cash and this was a good way for me to streamline my pockets and ensure I only bring the cards I actually need. More recently, I've actually started using the NFC chip on my phone to pay for stuff contactlessly. So I actually have even less reason to use this, but it still stays with me in my left hand side pocket. The normal proliferation of coffee loyalty stamp cards is a constant source of bulk and frustration, but I ain't gonna give up those stamps. I want them free coffees. Samsung S8. I got an S8 early last year for work and it's a really, really good phone. It's fast, it's capable, and the camera is excellent. I liked it so much that when I dumped my ancient Samsung S5 a couple of weeks ago, I bought a second S8, this time in orchid grey instead of the black. And I love it, it's brilliant. I don't need the newest phone, I don't need the most featured phone, I just need something solid and dependable. Paired with a slimline case like this one, I'm able to keep a track of my daily digital life without much hassle, which is key. I use a bunch of apps for a bunch of different things. My digital train ticket is on there, my bank account for personal expenses, my Audible and podcasts and all of that stuff comes from my phone. I also have databases for movies and books and projects and my phone is very, very important for my daily life. Ah, the pocket notebook. I'm spoilt for choice here. My dear friend and fellow 1857 podcaster Stuart owns Nero's Notes, and when I'm not buying notebooks from him, he's sending notebooks to me. So they are my go-to source for notebooks, though I already have a stupidly large stockpile. I tend to get through a pocket notebook about once a month, give or take, and I rotate between a few solid brands that I really, really like, like Field Notes, Back Pocket, Word, Calipino, and several others. They all tend to be of the standard 8x5 size and they just fit in my right hand side pocket really easily without any much hassle. Ah, the pencil. As you might imagine, this is not a short nor a simple answer. Shocker, I use pencils every day. I carry one with me. I'm sure you're all very, very surprised. Sometimes I switch pencils two to three times in a single day. Sometimes I bring one pencil. Sometimes I forget a pencil and curse myself all day long. The pencil I choose changes depending on the use case and where I'm going and what I'm doing. I have a set of options that I typically use when I'm at work and another set for when I'm not. At work, I choose between my Timber Twist with a Blackwing 602 stub or a Rotring 600 with 2B lead. These live in the top left hand pocket of my suit jacket and are a frequent guest at meetings or events and really any excuse to pull them out and show them to people, I will pull them out and show them to people. 
At home I tend to relax a little bit more and generally rotate through a few different pencils. When they hit the Steinbeck stage, they're about the right length to be pocketable and move them around. Uh, especially given that when I'm not in work, I don't have a jacket on, I'll typically keep these in my trouser pocket. My current go-to favourite is a battered and beaten Blackwing 16.2, but I've also got a Golden Bear and a Tombow 8900 kicking around, but I kind of just, as the mood takes me, switch it in and out. Special mention to the Kutsawa metal pencil cap. This is essential to carrying a pencil around in your trouser pocket. Without it, I'm sure I would have succumbed to an inadvertent femoral puncturing long, long ago. It's super hard to source here in the UK. I haven't found any yet. And the small collection, two to three that I have, have been traded or given to me. And I just hot swap every time I change pencils, the, the cap moves to the pencil that's in my pocket. Keys and subsequently key rings. Privacy being what it is, I ain't gonna show you my keys. Suffice to say that I have keys for house, office, car, underground base, small hydroplane, all the, all the usuals, you know. I do keep them on this remove before flight keyring, and this is the keyring that I've had for a number of years and actually appears in my previous EDC video. I've been around planes and space and all that cool stuff for a long, long time, and so this, it speaks to the sort of industrial flight adjacent stuff that I like. I actually find a keyring like this super useful, especially paired with a carabiner. It keeps my keys together and readily accessible, and the long teal can be positioned in pockets or bags for easy grabbing. But mostly, mostly it just looks really, really cool. Headphones. A recent and undoubtedly essential part of my EDC are my Sennheiser PXC 550 noise cancelling headphones. These headphones are the sole reason that I'm still seeing during my train commute every single day. Twice a day, for about half an hour each time. It spirits away all the clatter and hum of the train and the noise of people and generally lets me forget that other people exist for the 30 minutes that I'm on public transport and I can just drift away into a podcast or audiobook. Speaking of podcasts, if you didn't already know, I've got a podcast. It's called 1857, and we talk about analog things in a digital world. If you like these videos, you probably will enjoy the podcast. There's a link in the description below, but give it a listen, see what you think. It's a little bit different. It's not just my voice. Stu's there as well. Stu owns a notebook company, so he knows what he's talking about, and he likes pens, but we'll not hold that against him. But I mean, if you're going to download a podcast, you might as well get a good one. So there you have it, my EDC 3.0, refined and rejuvenated for 2019. I've streamlined and simplified this and really tried to double down on the things I like and jettison anything that isn't relevant or helpful to me. EDC is one of those things that will always change and should always change. And so I'm sure I can make another video in some time, but... This represents what I'm carrying and what I have been carrying probably for the last six months and hopefully for the next six months. So there you go. I hope you've learned a little bit about who I am as a person by what I carry on my person. <laughs>